Ah, you're back. Mr. Lotus, the SP cannon hasn't... Don't worry. The sky hole is still hiding, and the cannon remains unused. <sighs> Thank goodness. And how was your expedition? Did you find anything of use? One of the tablets deep in the ruins spoke of an airborne battleship. We think it might be able to help us get to the Skyhold. Do you know anything about it? An airborne battleship? Of course I know it. You do? Is it here in the village? You're looking right at it. The SP cannon there is one part of it. The SP cannon is... Wait, one part of it? Yes, it's all that remains of the once great battleship Sagittarius. Legend has it that the SP cannon served as its main battery. But the Sagittarius lost its flight capabilities generations ago. Now it's all we can do to keep it floating here. I see. Oh well. I'm sorry to disappoint you. You must be tired. Why not take it easy tonight? The ball and the Empire are quiet. Stay here in our village and recover your spirits with a good night's sleep. It's true. <clears throat> I am feeling exhausted. I'm sorry, everyone. I made us wander around those ruins for nothing. You? No, I didn't mean... Don't sweat it, you. We'll think of another way tomorrow. Hmm. <sighs> Everyone's finally asleep. Now's my chance. Going somewhere, you? What? Magnolia, weren't you sleeping? Isn't the better question what you're doing? Sneaking about alone like this? Well, uh, no. I just... Well, there, there's something I had to check. This passageway is the only part of the village that we haven't explored. That's true. But why now? It's the middle of the night. Because it's the middle of the night. I don't want anyone to ward us off. You're hopeless. Which means I'll just have to help you along. You will? Of course! Every good spy needs some backup. I can't just let you go wandering into danger on your own, can I? And I didn't want to put you in danger. Well? L never mind. I'm glad you're here. I was just thinking how nice it is to always have some help. It is nice, isn't it? Thanks, Magnolia. Shall we then? After you. I've been thinking. We've been desperate to find a way to fly, yet I can't help but feel like the answer's been staring us in the face all this time. Go on. Remember what Tiz said when we first got here? The village itself... It's floating. Exactly. Something is keeping this village afloat. Like a great sky stone. Or some massive perpetual motion machine. Whatever it is, this is the only part of the village they haven't shown us. Right. It has to be here. A perpetual motion machine, you say? What is this? The conduit from Xenoblade Chronicles 2? Only people who are into the <laughs> into the lore of Xenoblade 2 will know that the conduit's a perpetual motion machine. What is this? A singularly large sky stone? Or something else entirely? I'm not sure either, but it looks important. It must have something to do with keeping this village afloat. Let's take a closer look. First, we'll need to get it down from this pedestal. Wait! If this sphere really is keeping the village afloat... Whoops, you're right. We could send the whole place crashing to the ground. I'll lift it just a bit. If anything goes wrong, we'll put it right back. Okay? All right. Let's try. Here goes nothing. Heave... Ho!
how does it look? They seem to be safe. Great. And this sphere? Any markings or anything? Nothing. It's smooth as an egg. Another dead end. I'm afraid so. And here I thought we were onto something. <sighs> Don't sound so down. We just got here. You're right. Let's keep looking. Time to keep on exploring, I guess. <laughs> keep on going. Is there anything over here? Nope. Very strange looking place here. Indeed. What have we here, though? What do you think this is? Some kind of... machine? I think it may be broken. It's not doing anything. Whoa! It's glowing! Maybe... this is what's keeping the village afloat. The light's so warm. Maybe if we shine the light on some key item... <laughs> As if... Hmm... <gasps> Magnolia! You're a genius! I-I am? I remember reading somewhere that sky stones need to be warm to float. Do they? That sphere we found, the one on the pedestal. Maybe if we put it in the light of this machine and heat it up... I think you're onto something. <sighs> how, how does it look? It's getting warmer. Look, a message is appearing. Can you read it? Let's see. SP Distributor Performance Normal. No anomalies detected. SP Distributor? You, over there. Look at all of them. Wait, there's something written on the shelf. Hang on. Hmm. Make sure distributors have been inspected properly before connection to SP tank cables. So this machine is... There's writing on the back of it as well. SP Distributor Inspector. Model, Bun Pine Beta 006. So these spheres are just for the cables attached to those beds? Not again. I'm sorry for getting your hopes up like that. I'll just keep my mouth shut. Oh, don't say that, Magnolia. Thanks to you, we now know the spheres aren't what we need. No effort is wasted effort. Let's keep at it. You... Follow me. Right behind you. On to the next thing. Let's see here. Gets all twisty turny, huh? A pool of water. Are they storing rainwater? Maybe if we try sprinkling this water on something? <laughs> I was thinking the exact same thing. Well then. But if all it took was water, rainy days would make for some high-flying adventures. And if a drought came, look out below. <laughs> it seems our hypothesis doesn't pass muster. And here I thought we had it. I think we've both been thinking too hard. Why don't we give ourselves a little break? Yes, let's. Enjoying yourself? <laughs> Your eyes are almost dancing. You bet. Making hypotheses, gathering data, it reminds me of when I wanted to be a scholar. Though, I gave up on that a long time ago. After what happened to your brother? Yeah. I don't regret becoming a knight, of course. Saving Her Holiness means everything. I truly believe in this mission. I believe in you. You're always so earnest. And your optimism is so encouraging to me. This whole time. Ever since we first met... You... Do you remember when you gave me this flower? Of course! When you started crying like that... Why was I surprised? You see, on the moon... When a man gives a woman a flower... It comes with the promise... I will protect you for as long as we both live. Over time, it came to be taken as a marriage proposal. Well, really? So that's why... It's all right, I understand. I know you didn't mean it that way. But at that moment, when I found myself alone and afraid in a strange new world, your flower gave me so much strength, more than you'll ever know. I know it was my mistake, but the courage you gave me was real. I was ready to fight again, to stand up again. 
You were like the sun to me. That day and every day since. Magnolia, me too. Having you here has meant so much to me. You've also given me courage. Who knows where I'd be without you? Together, we'll save Agnes. We'll defeat the Kaiser, the Ball. We'll see our mission through, and it'll be... Bien sûr, our coup de gravy. But first, we'll need to find out the secret of this floating village. Right, let's get back to it. I really like seeing Yu's and Magnolia's relationship develop in this game. I think it's really well done. Hmm. You're looking at the wall. I am. No way! I don't know, but at this point, we can't leave any stone unturned. Nothing? What about that up there? Part of the ceiling is ready to come off? Let's check it out. <laughs> I'm covered in dust. <coughs> nope, nothing. Hey, you? Never mind. What is it? I just thought... What about the scratches carved into this stone? But maybe not, huh? Scratches? Let me see. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think this is anything. But good catch. Theoretically, if this had been the object of some enchantment, that could have left behind these kinds of markings. I never would have even thought to check, so it's perfect that you notice these things. If anything else catches your eye, don't keep it to yourself, okay? You got it. Splendid teamwork, my young friends. <laughs> like two tomato plants sown in sear land, so too will your passion bear sweet, sweet fruit. Roots intertwine, growing ever deeper, searching for vital moisture in the midst of drought. It's the very image of the passion that drives you to uncover buried secrets and the bonds that tie the two of you together. Dig deeper and thrive, my seedlings. The answers you seek are but around the corner. That voice! The man with the purple pen! It came from that way. Come on, Magnolia! I keep turning my camera and stuff back on to talk between these, but there's so little time anyway. Huh? Is that...? I'm gonna go check something out. You stay here, Magnolia. It's too dangerous. But you! Aren't you terrible with heights? I'll be fine. Trust me. See? Good as gravy. Besides, the, uh, the, the mission comes first. Oh, just don't look down. All right, you're mine. There's a nice crack. Just a few more hits and... And I almost had it! Come loose, you stupid rock! Take that! And that! You? What are you doing? Be careful! This stone is mine! Whoa! We found. 
found it. Magnolia, we really found it. The secret was on the walls outside. I love us. We really did it, you. But what were you thinking jumping after me like that? I knew I'd be safe. Because I trust you. You? Magnolia? Congratulations! <laughs>